let's take a look at factoring binomials. Now these binomials are very special because they're going to fall into these forms that we have here. The sum of cubes and the difference of cubes. If we look at problem number one, we see that this guy can be written as something to the third minus something else to the third because both of these guys are cubes. Well, this guy is x and 8 is 2 to the third. Now, if we can see that, then we should be able to recognize this as my a and this is my b and I just have to use the appropriate formula. In this case, it's this one right here for the difference of cubes. So when I factor this, I expect to have two factors. Now, since we know that we're using this formula right here, it's a good idea to have this guy memorized and then sketch him below your actual factorization. That way you know how things are supposed to match up in the formula. So just like that. Now, matching this up, a minus b will just be using the x and the 2 here, so this guy is x minus 2. In the second part of the factorization, I have a squared. If a is x, then a squared will be x squared. I've got my plus here, so put the plus. a times b is just going to be x times 2, and that's just going to give me 2x plus again and then b squared. Since b is 2, b squared is going to be 4. Now anytime you use one of these nice special products here, special formulas for um, factoring the sum and the difference of cubes, this part right here is never going to be able to factor any further. Once you've used this, you're done. So we have this guy and he's finished. Now let's look at the second problem that we have. Some of these numbers are starting to get kind of large but if you make your list of squares and cubes and other higher powers it's going to be a lot easier to recognize where these guys come from. So since I've had the practice I can tell you that this guy is going to be a perfect cube and this other guy is also going to be a perfect cube. But what are they? Well, 343 is actually the cube of 7. And of course x to the third is x to the third. 64 is the cube of 4 and then there's the y. So 4y to the third is 64y cubed and 7x to the third is 343x to the third. Now since this is a sum, I'm going to be using a different formula than I used on the left side of this paper. I'm going to be using the formula for the sum of cubes. Since I know I have this formula that I need to use, I know that I have these two factors right here. Let's write this formula underneath it. So I know that this is supposed to factor as a plus b and then a squared minus a b plus b squared. Well, this first part is always easy because it's just a plus b. You're not really doing anything to these guys. So my a is 7x plus my b which is 4y. Now the other part of this factorization uses this formula, a squared. Since a is 7x, I have to square that whole guy. So that is going to be 49x squared minus ab. So a is 7x, b is 4y, ab is their product, so 7 times 4 is 28, and then x and y. Finally, I have to put in b squared. Since b is 4y, I have to square that whole guy, so that's going to end up being 16y squared. 
So there you have it. You just need to memorize these formulas so that when you see a sum or a difference of cubes, you just write the formula down and you plug into it.